Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Caitlin, and today I've got more of like a little bit of a fun video to do. I downloaded a little spinny wheel to my old phone last night, and um, I put like all the categories of my makeup in there. Like this one is primer, and I put in some options. I did six different ones for most of them, but a few of them have less than that if I had less than six products, and then like I have 10 eyeshadow palettes, that kind of thing. But I thought we would just pull out a bunch of makeup and play it because I think it'd be fun. And I have a lot of makeup that I don't use a ton of. So we're going to do that. <laughs> so for primers, the options that I pulled out are the Cover FX Gripping Primer, the Farsali Liquid Glass. I did an Elizabeth Mott um, Mattifying Primer. Fingers crossed we don't get that one because my face is very dry today. The Tarte Base Tape. This is the one hoping for um the nyx bear with me and the touch and soul glassy are the options for today so let me go ahead and set all these back down and we're gonna spin our little wheel here and we got the cover effect gripping primer so that is what we're going to use today. I'm really hoping that that's not backwards for you guys. If it is, I'm really, really sorry. But, so this primer, I have makeup everywhere, so first see a lot of things being dropped. But this primer is exactly what it says. It's a gripping primer. It really grabs on your makeup and keeps it in place. So it's really good. It definitely does what it says it does, but it does always kind of leave my skin a little bit dry. So, that's fun, <laughs> but that's okay. It's better than the Elizabeth Mott one um, as far as drying out my skin goes. So we will slather this all over my face here. And then for foundation, I have seven options, but I only have seven foundations. And I was like, which one am I gonna leave out? So I brought them all. I have the Lock Color Foundation, the Sun Tegrity, this is kind of a tinted moisturizer, the Pure Love Your Selfie, CoverGirl True Blend, Koki HD, the Becca Ultimate Coverage, and the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. So Let's go ahead and see what it has in store for us today. Looks like we're going cover girl. Alrighty. Just trying to get these ready for the next one. So cover girl. I don't use this one a ton, so I am glad that we got that one because I haven't used this in a while. Because I think last time I used it, I was like, oh. A little bit dark but it's been a long time since I've used it since then so I don't really remember exactly how I feel about it so oh yeah it does lock I always forget that you have to like turn it to get the foundation to come out it's very moussey um, texture well that color match looks pretty decent actually I don't remember why I stopped using this Smells weird, maybe that's why. That's not a bad color match at all, actually. Definitely better than my cosmetics ones, I wear that all the time. It's very light, light to medium coverage, I would say. I'm sure if I really wanted to, I could build it up some, but I think this is fine. Blended out really easily, really nicely, so I don't know why I don't use this more often. Okay, this is in the shade L1 Ivory, if you guys are curious, which I do believe is the lightest shade, at least where I got it, it was. Okay, concealer, I have five options because I have five concealers, so we've got the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape, I've got Pretty Vulgar, uh, Han or Han, I'm not sure how you say it, and Morphe. So 
Let's see. Which one are we dropping them? Which one we're gonna use today? We're going Morphe. Alrighty, so this one is definitely my lightest concealer. It's pretty close to the e.l.f. one in terms of color, but um, it's my lightest one. This one isn't like super, super full coverage, but it's definitely buildable. Like if you want it to get there, you definitely can. But I always go in with a little bit more of this than I would like shape tape. But it definitely is brightening because it is kind of light for me, which this is the shade C1.25. Again, I think this is the lightest shade. I don't know for sure. I got it in BoxyCharm or Ipsy, one or the other. But it is really nice, very brightening. I like this one a lot, actually. Blending this out all over my face. Okay. And then next we're going to set it with some powder, which I forgot to switch this already. Okay. So for powders, I have quite a few. I've got the e.l.f. Translucent, the Becca Hydra Mist, this Gigi Gorgeous one. I have the Ciate Coconut the Marilyn Monroe one that just came out from Hard Candy, and the Too Faced Born This Way. So, my setup is crazy. I wish you guys could see this right now. Okay, what are we going to set our face with? Ugh, the Marilyn Monroe one. I'll be honest, that was the one that I was least hoping for <laughs> just because it's not a bad powder by any means but the smell is so strong and it like does not leave your nose so that's okay if you guys didn't watch my review on this collection definitely go check it out so you can see exactly what i'm talking about even though you're about to see it now okay so strong. I'm literally holding my breath. <coughs> I like to kind of like stamp the powder on the under eyes and then just kind of swirl it around everywhere else. Goodness. Just went everywhere. <laughs> okay. There's that powder. I don't even have places to put like my dirty brushes right now. Also, we overdid it on the amount that I put in there, so. Ooh. Also, my hair is wet, so that's why it looks like this. Okay, contour, I don't have a lot of options, and you guys are going to kick my butt for this, but that's okay. So I have the Park Avenue Princess, the NYX in Taupe, the Too Faced Coco Contour, and this, <laughs> the Kat Von D, um, KVD, I guess now, KVD Beauty. I decluttered it and then immediately regretted it and took it out, so <laughs> I still have that, but... Here is this one. What are we going to do? We're going Kat Von D. KVD. KVD Beauty. I really need to get in the habit of saying that. And then I will get this ready for bronzer next. Where's my bronzer? There. So, let's go ahead and set this one out. I, yeah, I decluttered this because it, it, honestly, it's time. Like, there's a bunch of hard pan in there, but I just couldn't do it. Like, after I put it in there, I was like, I want to pack. So I pulled it back out. I'm sorry, guys. But it still looks good. 
still works, so <laughs> I still like it. I definitely want to repurchase it though. I want to get like the, because I only use these two shades. I don't really use these unless I'm using it for like eyeshadow really quickly. Um, but I really want to get the one that has just like just these two in it, the little duos, because that makes more sense for me. Takes up less room in my collection and I will um, actually use all the shades in there, so. I think once I pick that up, I will finally be okay with letting this go. But I just don't want to not have it in my collection because I love it so much. Just such a good, it's a, such a good contour shade. Like, I don't know. Can we like Kat Von D now? Not really her, but like the brand. Is that the thing that we can do now? Is it acceptable here on YouTube now that she's not part of it? Because like, I really like her products. <laughs> All right, bronzers. I don't have many bronzers either. I've got five of them. I've got the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, the Milani one I just got. This is the Silky Matte, the GG Gorgeous one from Ipsy. And then, I debated putting this one in here just because it doesn't exist anymore, but I still have it and I still like it. So this is the Sonia Kashuk one and a hard candy one. So let's see what fate has in store for our bronzer today. Butter bronzer. Alrighty. That one is definitely one I use a lot, so that's fine, but I do love me some butter bronzer. This is actually my second one. Um, this is the light shade, light bronzer. I The last one I had was the original and it was always a little hair too dark for me, I felt. So I tried this one out and I really like it. I still use the regular one too. Like I still have it in a palette that I will reach for sometimes if I want a little bit more of a darker bronzer, but I think this one works better for my skin tone. And I really like it. And I can be messy with it and not be too worried about it. I'm very messy with my bronzer. Okay. Butter bronzer is a fave for sure. So now let's do some blush. Where do I have my blushes? Okay. I have the Alomar Trio. This is in the medium one, medium to tan. I have Milani. I have Ofra Madison Miller. I've got Hourglass, um, Tarte Feisty, and a Pixie one. So let's see what they think. We're going Alomar, alrighty. I do enjoy Alomar Cosmetics a lot. I've never been disappointed by anything that I've tried from them. I like to mix these two shades. I kind of stay away from this one just because it's a little dark. I have very fair skin <laughs> and I don't know why I got the medium one in my box, but I did. I got this at BoxyCharm. Um, so I mix Seclusion and Isla together. And I'm just gonna buff those on the face. And I definitely go with like a light hand with these and just build it up just because they are dark for my skin tone. It also helps to use a brush like this. It's really fluffy. This is a Fara brush in, in 50F. Using a brush like that, it doesn't pick up as much pigmentation. So if you have like a super pigmented br blush, could use something like this. Okay, pretty. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face just to set these powders down before I put on some highlight. So we're actually gonna do the setting spray category twice. We're gonna use it right now just to kind of get a 
a little bit down so the powders are blended in a little bit more. Then we'll do it again at the end to set my face, actually. I've got Pixie, Glow Recipe, Cover Up X Illuminating, the Tarte Stay Spray, the ooh, Physicians Formula Matcha Line, and Urban Decay All Nighter. So I'm hoping for the Glow Recipe one now and the All Nighter later. So let's see what happens here. This is just, again, to set down the powders. Ugh, Physicians Formula, okay. I don't love this one, I will be honest. But that's okay. Just because I like the formula itself, but the spray on here is super intense, so we gotta, we gotta spray far away. See what I mean? Woo! It's intense, it smells so good though. I love, love, love matcha green tea. Or just matcha in general, or green tea in general. Okay, highlighter. Where are my highlighters? I've got, I tried to avoid highlighting palettes just because I have so many. So these are my single highlighters, not all of them, but some of them. I've got Moon Dance from Ofra and Madison Miller. I've got The Estate um, in Afterglow. We've got K Voss in Moonlight. Phase Zero in Nude Newbie. This is actually an eyeshadow, but I use it as a highlighter. I don't really like single eyeshadows. Um, I've got Elf Moonlight Pearls and a couple more. I did a few more highlighters than I did everything else. I've got the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Highlighter in Extra. That one, if I get that, is going to be intense. Um, and then I've got Dose of Colors Fuego and a Lunar Beauty Mercury. So. We did quite a few highlighters, but I have a lot of highlighters, so let's see what we got today. We're going to state, so we're going to do a purple highlighter. <laughs> so hopefully, whatever we get later, we'll be okay with purple. So let's go ahead. I do like this highlighter a lot. I use this a lot when I want to do like a monochromatic look, which I when I do, I usually do purples because I like purples but I do like this highlight. Definitely got a strong purple to it though. I really, I knew that was gonna happen to be honest. I was like, I'm gonna put this purple highlighter in here and that's what I'm gonna get. So that's okay. The Estate is a really good formula, they're baked highlighters and I do want to try like other shades that I would wear more often than this. But again, don't mind purple highlights. So there's that one. What are we going to do next? Let's do some brows. Um, there's brows. So for brows, I have no idea where it went. Here it is. I've got two pencils. I've got the ColourPop Brow Boss and I've got the Hard Candy Marilyn Monroe one. I've got two powders, which are, I've got Bodyography, and I've got The Brow Gal by Tanya Crook. I've got one cushion, which is Iconic London, and then I've got one pomade, which is the Billion Dollar Brow. So we'll see what kind of brow we're going for today. We are doing powder. We're doing Brow Gal. Alrighty. Um, when I reach for powder, I do reach for the Bodyography one more, not gonna lie. But it also has been a while since I've done a powder brow. I've been using the ColourPop pencil a lot lately, so I'm definitely welcome to doing a powder brow, though. Where is... that'll work. Okay. This is actually the Bodyography brush. I use the darkest shade in here, which is this one here. Um, this is the Convertible Brow 02, so this is the darker one, and I use the darkest shade in here. My face is so dry. Goodness, like, even my hands are dry. Like, can you see that? <laughs> I put on hand cream today, and I put on, like, face moisturizer on my hands, because that's how dry they are, and I was like, I gotta do something. Okay. So, just go ahead and go in with this powder here. 
It actually started snowing today. I live in Iowa and it's been fairly warm out. It's been like 40s, 50s, which I know is not warm, but for right now it's warm. But then today it's been snowing all day and it's like, there's not enough going on in the world. <laughs> Gotta do that too. But I'm actually not like, quarantined right now I'm still going to work every day you know that kind of fun thing like this video if you're still going to work hmm. yeah, I do like that powder brows are always just so much softer to me I like that I don't look like as sharpie-esque as my brows have been like looking lately but I don't mind that. What are you guys' favorite brow products? Do you like powder, pomade, pencil, what? Cushion? What do you guys like? Well, let me know. Just copying the Philips space now at this point. Okay, there are the brows. Now for brow gel, I do not have a lot of brow gels. I've got, ooh, this is gonna fall. What do we have, five here? I've got the Tarte one, I've got Billion Dollar Brows, I've got the Brow Gal, this is actually tinted, NYX, and Milani. So, let's see, let me get to the right one here. So for brow gel, I'm not trying to flip you guys off, I promise. We are doing Tarte. Alrighty, I do like the Tarte one. Uh, my favorite one is the NYX one, but that's fine because I've been using that a lot lately. So let's do some Tarte. This one's got like a very tiny little wand, which is why it's not my favorite. It's because I have big brows, so I have to like really get in there with this one. But... Look at that, I need to trim those, woo. But I do like this one and it does keep them where I need them to be, so. Not a bad one by any means. Okay, okay. Next, let's do some eyeshadow. We're already there, woo. Eyeshadow is gonna be <laughs> the craziest one because I have so many palettes here. Actually, let's do um, my liner first, because that's gonna determine what kind of eye look I wanna go for. I've got Waterline Eyeliner here, and I picked like three black ones and then three colorful ones, I think. I did the e.l.f. Um, J. Kissa one, this is a blue liner. I've got White by NYX. I've got um, a purple one from Scone Cosmetics. A black one from Pixie. Did you see that? I don't know. The NYX Faux Black, which is like a green one. And then the KVD Beauty Basket Case Liner, which is black. So let's see what color is going in our waterline today. All right, we're doing a blue liner today. I do really, really like this liner, so that's fine. We got purple highlight and a blue liner. <laughs> Crazy. Pretty. I like this. Oh, it tickles. Do you guys have that issue? Like when you put um, eyeliner in your waterline, does it tickle or is that just me? Maybe I'm weird. I'm probably weird, but that's fine. Now we're going to do eyeshadow. So I have 10 palettes here. I have two drawers of eyeshadow palettes, which is excessive, I know. So I picked five from each. I've got the Winter Beauty Strawberry Moon. I took out Blue Blood, which would actually work out really well with this liner that we just did. Um, the Tati Beauty one. I've got the Mirage from Profusion. The Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. The Storybook Cosmetics. Um, this is the Briar Rose one, I think is what it's called. Little Briar Rose. Naked Heat. Riviera. 
a Physician's Formula one and a the original Venus Lime Crime. So let's see what we're doing today. What does that say? Lunar Beauty Strawberry Moon. Yay! I do love Strawberry Moon, so I'm definitely excited for this. Now let's see if I can put all of these palettes back over here without any of them falling. I'm trying. Stay. Okay. So this is the palette we're playing with today. I'm very excited. If you guys didn't know, this shade right here called Blue Diamond is my favorite eyeshadow in the whole world. So let's play. And we do have a cute couple blues in here that we can play with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up a fluffy brush and I'm going to go into Cloudy first. That like baby pink one. And I'm going to suck that in my uh, crease just for a little light transition shade. Definitely gonna play with those blues, but I don't know what I want to do in the lid yet. Hmm. Do I do the blue all over? Do we throw in some pink in the inner corner? I'm also gonna pick up Skyline, the one next to it, more of like a salmon-y color. And go on with that as well. Okay, now let's take, we're going to go with a Sweet Dream, which is like a light um, pinky shade there. We're going to put that on the lid, I think. Oh, pretty. I didn't wet the brush at all. There is a little bit of fallout because I didn't wet the brush, but that's okay. I just want this to be very light. We are going to go use Strawberry Moon over this a little bit. Or Strawberry Moon. Blue Moon. No, Blue Diamond. Why can't I talk? Goodness. Okay. I wipe away this fallout a little bit. And then on the outer corner, I'm going to take Storm Cloud. Yes. Mm. I don't know. Maybe we should do this shade. Let's do that. Let's do Haze. The blue shade. I'm going to put that on the inner, outer corner. Just going to go for it, you know? If we hate it, it's just makeup, and I'm not really going anywhere important today, so. Well, truck going by, I apologize. Okay, we're also going to run that on the lower lash line, just on the outer corner part. Meeting it to the top. Now we're going to take a brush and I'm going to wet it real quick. And I'm going to pick up straw, nope, blue diamond, my goodness. I'm going to pick up blue diamond. The shade is very, very flaky. I'm just going to like press that all over where that pink shade is.
pretty. Oop, went a little heavier on this side, so we'll fix that. I honestly just love that shade so much. It's so pretty. That's going to be in the inner corner as well, just that in the inner corner. And then I'm going to wipe away all of the fallout we just created. There is a lot of fallout with this shade. Um, so if you don't like that, you might want to do your eyes first if you were going to use this. But that's fine. We didn't know what we were going to do first today. So now I'm going to take another little brush here. And I'm going to put the uh, Blue Sky, this shade, on the lower lash line. I completely didn't even do that darker blue on this side. We'll fix that in just a second here. Okay. Now I'm taking the darker blue. I'm putting it on the outer corner here on this side since we forgot to do that. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this look so far. Let's go back in with um, Cloudy and Skyline, mixing the two together. We're going to buff that in the crease a little bit more. Just blend that blue out a little bit better. And then I'm going to put more of that blue haze right here. And then we're going to take Cloudy and Skyline again and mix the two in the crease. Kind of patting it on top of the blue shades as well, just a little. And then I'm going to run that on the lower lash line to buff out the blues on the bottom here. Pretty. Okay. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take lightning, which is this yellow golden shade. And I'm going to put that on the brow bone just a little. Because I want something up there, but I don't want blue diamond up there. So I think that might be a little much. Ta-da! I like it. Okay. It looks like cotton candy. Now, we're actually going to do top liner today, which is something I very rarely do. So we've got, where are my liners? Oh, right here. I've got the Pretty Vulgar Potted Liner here. I've got Il Maquillage, which is my favorite. Um, the Hard Candy one, which I'm really hoping against because I do not like this liner. The Ciate London one. This is a stamper on one side, so we might play with that too if we get that one. And then Kat Von D. Um, tattoo liner. So let's see. Please, anything but hard candy. Oh, okay. Pretty vulgar. I can do that. I was scared for a second. Um, this is a potted liner, but I really do like this one. I used to use this quite a bit more than I do now, but that's okay. I need something with a mirror on it. We'll use this. So we'll see how good I am at this anymore. Okay. Can you hear Dylan's TV right now? He is literally in the room next to me. And you can still hear it. Okay. It's actually a pretty good wing for me. I'm not great at this. But I will definitely take that. Now let's see if I can make them match.
Mm, that one's definitely not as good. Oh my goodness, this TV is ridiculous. Let's see if he gets the hint with that one. Okay, I'm not furious at it, but it's not my best work ever, so we're just gonna leave that there. <laughs> but I don't hate it, it's okay. Um, What's next? Mascara, let's do that, okay. Shoal Flower Mascara. Don't see, there it is. Um, click, please. <laughs> this one is so old. I've got a few options. We've got the Too Faced, uh, it's my favorite. Thrive. We've got Tarte Big Ego, which I don't care for. Wander Beauty, which I've not used in a hot minute. Um, the Perversion from Urban Decay. Again, haven't used that in a minute. And the new CoverGirl one that I just got a few days ago. So let's see how my lashes are going to turn out today. We're going to use them the new CoverGirl already. So this mascara, I was like, it's okay. Um, it's not like mind-blowing or life-changing by any means. But it wasn't a bad mascara. Still trying to find that like the one from the drugstore that's cruelty free obviously but I'm not having such luck i'm still on the hunt though i used to really like the um lash renegade by wet and wild but i don't really support to wet and wild anymore so now i'm trying to find another replacement I really like this eye look. I was kind of like, eh, about it, but now I like it. It looks like cotton candy. Definitely doesn't go with my Dragon Ball Z hoodie by any means, but that's okay. Yeah, this is a mascara that I would wear lashes with if I wore lashes. It's like, it makes them black. It makes them kind of long, but it doesn't give me as much volume as I want. Also, I'm doing this without a close-up mirror, so it's a little difficult. I'm blind. Yeah, the lower lash line always looks really good with this one. But the top lashes are kind of meh. I look like a weirdo right now. Like I've got Dragon Ball Z hoodie on, cotton candy eyeshadow, and cat ears. <laughs> Why do you guys watch my channel? And wet hair. Don't forget the wet hair. Ah, oh. stab myself in the eye. Okay, we did get a little bit on the lower lash line since I decided to stab myself, but we'll clean that up in a little bit. And a little bit, I don't know words. Okay, lips are gonna be interesting. So what I did for lips is I literally just took one out of all of my drawers. If you guys have seen my um, lipstick drawers, I literally have them color coordinated by liquid lips and then lipsticks. So I went through and took one out of each of them. And we're gonna do that and see if I get a liquid lip or a lipstick so I've got quite a few options for this one but for liquid lips I've got a few I've got the Lunar Beauty Daydream I've got Kylie Cosmetics um, 22 the lip syrup in um, Rose Kisses from Hard Candy and Marilyn Monroe Miami Fever from Ofra and this purple one called Obsessed from Palado Cosmetics and then lipsticks, I have Scarlet by Becca, I've got Screamer by Colourpop and Sophia Nygaard, I've got Three Plays by Bella and Argent, Argent, not sure how you say that. And then this one from Trifle Cosmetics and Taurus from Colourpop. So a lot of color options, this could go real bad real quick, so let's just find out, shall we? 
Curly Pop Taurus. Okay, a brown lip with this is gonna be interesting, <laughs> but we'll go for it. Here's what it looks like. Maybe I can like, just lightly pat it on. Why not? Oh, I hate it. Okay, I no longer like my makeup today, but I like the lipstick itself. I think it's pretty, but not with this eye look. But let's see if we can mess it up even more because I am gonna do a lip gloss today. And I chose a few, so we'll see how interesting this gets. I've got the Ofra Madison Miller Smiley for Riley, I think is what this is called, yes. We've got Jeffree Star's Ice Cold, Alamar, Conqueta, Coqueta, I don't know, I don't speak Spanish. Um, the Han one, Han Han, not sure. The Lunar Beauty Daydream. And then the one that'll make this super interesting is I have Jeffree Star and Jouer's Sweet Tooth. This is an old one, but this is like an intense, intense lip gloss. It's more of like a lip topper, I guess, but. So let's see what happens here. Alamar, okay. So not gonna be as interesting as I was hoping. I really wanted the Jeffree Star one just to see what would happen. This really just makes it more brown, honestly. Nah. Don't like it. Looks like, like Hershey's on my lips. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay, last thing is gonna be setting spray. So let's see what we're using to set the face. I've already shown you the options. So here we go. Cover effects, okay. I feel like this is for sure gonna get all over my teeth. So happy we could lock this look in. I actually, <coughs> I hate it. I don't mind the look up until the lips. The lips really ruined it. That's okay. That was kind of the point in this was to see what would happen if we just randomly chose our makeup. So here's the final look. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. Like, did you have fun with this? Is this something you would want to see again? Because I think it was really fun. Um, yeah. That's everything I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like this video before you go. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of my future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.